Hi guys! I'm not sure if this is a new vlog. If it is, hello everyone. So today I am going to the city. It feels like I haven't been out in ages because I actually haven't. I'm going to two events. One of them is um, Cover FX, which is just launched in Liberty. And I've actually never tried anything from the brand, which is quite surprising because it's always caught my interest, but I've just never taken the plunge. So I'm happy and I'm excited to be trying that out today. And then after that, I'm going to Space and King King's Cross because I've just launched, I think they've just launched Rodeo or Rodial, I don't know how to say it, in, in that store or they've got like a new line out, which I'm not too sure about, but I'll find out when I get there. And yeah, I thought I'd get ready on the vlog. I haven't done that in a while and maybe I can talk you guys through some new products I'm using. I'm just gonna go wet my beauty blender and then I'll be back. Right, let's hope my camera doesn't fall. So I've prepped my skin with Zelen's Daily Defense um, SPF. So I'm not gonna put any other moisturizer on. Vaseline. SPF 15. I'm going to use some Becca Sh Sh Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne. Just priming my skin with this. I think I'm going to use my Too Faced Bond this way today because I don't want to be super matte today. I want to be a little bit more dewy. So I'm using some of this. In the shade natural beige i'll link everything in the description box i'm going for the dewy fresh maybe minimal look today i'll see how i feel when i get to my eyes might just not do eyeshadow do you know what i really like the sound of you know those like crayon type eyeshadow sticks i don't actually have any actually no that's a lot i do i have charlotte tilbury ones so I might use that today because I like that they're just quick and effortless. I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape. I know this isn't minimal and I know it's not glowy but it's the only thing that will cover my dark circle. So I'm just going to use a little bit and I'm going to mainly do this like in the inner part over here where the darkness is. Then I'll use a lighter more glowy concealer for highlighting. I just need this to correct and like cancel out the dark circles before I highlight. Next I'm going to use the Magic Away Concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. This one's pretty new. I'm going to use number 6. I've got 6 and 7 and 6 is obviously a little bit lighter so I'm going to highlight with the number 6. Just so you guys can see what my under eyes look like right now. They're pretty good. And I think that's because of the Tarte Shape Tape, but yeah, I really like the Magic Away as well. Sorry about the mess. I am going to set this. Should I use the Charlotte Tilbury powder? Let's give this a try, the Magic Powder. This was launched with the concealers, so I'm assuming they're really good and work well together. So I'm going to use this on a Luxe Highlight Brush from Zoeva. I use this to contour, really. But, I'm just going to set this. Moving on to contour, I'm going to use um, my sleek contour kit in dark. I'm going to use a stippling brush for this. I'm using this shade here. Okay, I'm going to use Rose Petal by NYX. This is a cream blusher. For my brows, I think I'm going to use Brow Wiz today. This is in medium brown. I think what I'll do is use Charlotte Tilbury, the Dolce Vita quad. I'm going to fast forward this bit and um, listen to New Coke Studio season 11. Sorry guys, my battery died. Let me actually show you what I used. So, I finished off my eyes with the Dolce Vita palette, but then I also used a black eyeshadow just for like the wing. And then I smudged that out, and then I used the darker green under my eyes. This is gonna smudge so bad, and I can tell like it's just, my under eyes are gonna get ruined. Someone's calling me, one second. 
so the eyeliner and then waterproof mascara for the highlighter i used this charlotte tilbury bar of gold palette and i used this one closest to my thumb that highlighter and then my lip gloss is fenty gloss bomb now i'm gonna do my hair Ooh, that's a good technique and um right i'm gonna spray a little bit of texturizing spray i'm actually gonna use the way one because that l'oreal one makes my hair really sticky so okay i'm gonna get changed now and then i'm gonna head off so guys i'm at cover fx and i'm trying out some foundations but i've I decided to try out the cream one, so it comes in a compact like this. So that's the shade I tried, G40, but we've just taken it off because I think it's a tiny bit grey. So we're going to go with a tiny bit darker, so the next shade up, which is G50. So we'll see how this looks. That looks better, what do you think? Yeah, I think that's better. That looks good on camera, but I'll Yeah, look clip. in the natural light. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, have a little look okay. and see what you think. So guys, I'm, my dress keeps doing this. But I'm going from Liberty, which is right in front of me. And then I started walking this way because I was going to go to Bapiano. But then I decided not to go there because I just went there the other day. So I think I'm going to go Stax and get a chicken burger. <sighs> I really feel like a good chicken burger today, so I'm going to go there. I love this area, like back end of Oxford Street, like Liberty, Regent Street. So Stax is near here. This is Carnaby and behind me is Liberty. Oh, I'm so excited for this chicken burger. So this is Carnaby Street and Stax is in this little alleyway called Kingly Court. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god, I love your bows. <laughs> How are you? Can you get a picture? Right, so you go through Kingly Court and then is there's a whole new world. And then Stax is up there. Let's hope it's not packed because downstairs looks quite busy. Seat for one. You can get this beautiful view of Kingly Court. I usually always get the, the spicy hot chickadee. Even though I can never handle it. I tried the gilded chickadees, that was really good. But now I'm gonna try the ranch one. So I'll let you guys know how that is. Oh I've got to tell how only one one chicken dinner. Let me tell for that now. Guys, I'm so sorry, I forgot to vlog the food. I'm so sorry, I'm such a bad vlogger. But I got this, which is cookies and cream milkshake, which is really good. So guys, heading to my second event now. Why is this camera never focused on my face? Here is all of the new makeup from Rodeo. I've tried a bunch of things on. Let me go to a quiet corner and tell you guys what I've got on. I have this lipstick on. It's in the shade Calabasas. Oh my god, I love this lipstick. It's like the lipstick I've been looking for for like my whole entire life. It's like a My Lips But Better peachy pink and the blusher goes so nicely with it. I'm obsessed and I need everything. So guys, I'm back at home. That was like a really tiring day for some reason. Like there was just more walking than I expected and also my shoes became so uncomfortable. So guys, I realised I, I have never done an un get ready with me or like a skincare kind of video. I'm still not sharing the skincare secret with you unfortunately. I'm not really sure if the company still wants to go ahead with it or not but until we find out I'll show you everything just except that. So to cleanse I use the B Pure Sensitive Micellar Cleansing Wipes. These are the best wipes I've ever used. Fresh packet. I've gone through about 20 packets of this probably. Um, they're just really, really amazing wipes. So yeah, the reason I love these wipes is because they're so gentle, but they really take everything off. Just look at that. A lot of wipes I feel really tug at my skin 
and these are really really gentle like the cloth itself is really good and obviously the formula on top is amazing like i'm gonna do my eye now so just watch this also the best thing about them is that they're cruelty free and they um are really really cheap don't forget your neck guys sometimes i use two wipes uh if i've got a lot of makeup on but i make sure i get most of it off with the wipe look how good of a job this wipe has done like nothing is on my face visibly other than my mascara maybe a little bit like my brows are all off everything is off I just I cannot recommend these wipes enough also this video isn't sponsored it's not sponsored by anyone I know I've been talking about, about a lot of brands in this video but it's not sponsored I'm just gonna turn my hair up now for my second cleanser I use the chamomile cleansing butter from the body shop and I use a muslin cloth to take this off just warm it up and then all over my face Guys, look how much makeup was still on my face. It's mostly just mascara, but... Sorry guys, my vlog camera just died. Now I'm just gonna wipe this all off. I've been using this um, cleansing balm for so many years now, and it's just never failed me. And it's so good because it's solid, so you can travel with it and it won't leak, because they do an oil version as well, but... This is really good. Okay, finally for my third cleansing step. I've actually been using this purely because I want to finish it. The Aura Gold 24 Karat Sensitive Skin Cleanser. It is pretty good. I can't really say anything bad about it. I just want to try out a few different ones because I've got a few that I've got through PR that I really want to try. This is one of them, the Elemis Superfood facial wash i have tried this and i really really like it it's a really nice consistency and it smells good and it makes my skin feel clean and then i've got another one from zelens and that's obviously such a good skincare brand i want to do like a full zelens routine for my skin so i'm just trying to use this one up really I like to use a wash after using the balm because that can leave like my skin a little bit oily so I just like to use this to make sure it's all nice and clean and sometimes when I'm impatient I'll towel dry my face but I'm really trying not to because I feel like it's not good for your skin it actually doesn't take that long to dry but I'm just impatient and I like to finish off my skincare routine moving on to moisturizer I'm gonna use the Oils of Life Eye Cream Gel from the Body Shop. I don't have much to say about this one. I just think eye gels are a good thing to incorporate into your nighttime routine just because I think in the long run they'll benefit me and reduce wrinkles and things like that. Um, I also think that it's just good to hydrate every part of your skin. If I use a moisturizer, like a, a normal one, under my eyes, it's not my skin doesn't like it at all i get loads of little spots i used to have them for years and i didn't know why and it's because i used to put my moisturizer under my eyes um now i'm using the zelens power d high potency pro vitamin d treatment drops this is I don't really know, but I'm just gonna listen to the lovely PR lady who gave me this because her skin was amazing. So I'm just gonna do what she tells me to do. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. God, I do have a lot of breakouts. It was really not the best day to film this. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Good morning, guys. So I was watching some skincare videos the other day, like nighttime routines, 
and I was thinking like I wish I could see their skin the next morning so basically that's just what I'm doing I just wanted to show you guys my skin and do you remember I had like loads of breakouts I feel like they've gone down massively now usually when I get spots they don't actually last that long anymore because I think I've got a good routine down for my skin so yeah just wanted to share that with you guys yeah that's about it for today i'm not going to be doing much today i'm just going to be working a lot from home there's a lot of things to do and a video to edit which i'll link in the i button and yeah i'll see you guys in my next one bye